So which Seamaster will I choose to use as my base model to then make the perfect Omega prototype? Well, I think it's going to have to be the 300M, personally. I just think it's the flagship and the one that is just most noticeable and recognisable. I love the Aquaterra, I love the Planet Ocean, the Heritage models are really nice as well. But for me, I think the 300M is the flagship out of all of them. So first off, I'm going to have to downsize it a bit because 42 millimeters, while it works quite all right for someone like me on my wrist, but it's not going to work well for a lot of people. So I'm going to downsize that to 39 millimeters, as well as slim it down a bit. Get the Seamaster on a diet and bring it down to 12.5 millimeters in thickness, just to make it a little bit more wearable. The next thing I'm going to do is change something very fundamental on the Seamaster. I'm going to remove the date complication entirely and basically have it so that it's just a seamless dial. I think that'll just look a lot better and just really clean up the dial. The next thing I'm going to do is add a slight burst effect to the dial and it's going to be in a teal green. So I basically have the summer blue version of the watch but slightly tinted to more of a green hue. I think that'd look absolutely amazing. Instead of having a printed on, um, boring logo for the Seamaster line, like they some reason they, they do this already on the Aquaterra, but I'm going to have an applied metal logo put onto the new 300M. So I just don't know why it's not already done. So the next thing I'm going to do is something that a lot of people are going to thank me for, which is tapering the bracelet, because the 300M's bracelet is really nice and really like great looking, but it just is a bit thick and it has no taper and I think a lot of people would appreciate a taper so that's what I'm going to do, tapering the bracelet, that's going to please a lot of people. Now for the helium escape valve, I'm actually going to leave it on there because I think it is just a very recognisable feature and without it the watch sort of looks a bit imbalanced, I don't think it looks quite right without it so I'm going to keep the helium escape valve on. And that's it, that's all the modifications I'm going to be doing to the 300M and I think this is an absolutely beautiful watch. Let me know down below what you think of the look of this watch and what else you would change.